Hi, welcome back to Heather Loves Cruising. Today we want to tell you a little bit about the top six favorite things that we had on the Princess Regal. Yes, six, plus maybe a bonus, but the, 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 our favorite things from the experience. We got on the ship and basically went straight to the uh, adult pool area and booked a cabana. And that may sound a little excessive to you. You think, well, you're already paying to be on a cruise ship. Why would you be paying, I think it was like 80 or $85 to mm -hmm. reserve a cabana mm -hmm. for? It was for the whole get, day. We did was that the whole, whole day? day. Yep. Okay. If you're in a cruising itinerary that has multiple ports, you're going to have a full day that is referred to as an at sea day. Mm -hmm. The entire ship is full of people and those deck chairs that are complimentary are gonna come at a premium. By the time you know everybody was out on the deck and everybody was familiar with the ship, we had our own kind of sacred space that we could yep. go to that was very relaxing, yep. very, very nice to have our own space carved out that we didn't have to worry about marking with a towel or anything. It was ours for the day. So. And a lot of times you'll see people walking around on those at sea days just circling, looking for a chair. Um, they fill up really quickly. A lot of people will try to save them for long periods of time. And a lot of times the deck attendants will move your things so if you do try to market chair and you're gone for a long time they actually will move your things mm -hmm. so the best part about this uh, cabana was we got there when we wanted we stayed as long as we wanted we went to lunch we came back we didn't have to worry about holding our spot um, so that was great I personally like to go on the ship to read and relax and if you like it it might be something worth looking into the second thing this is we're gonna switch gears here ice cream I love it when I can have unlimited access to ice cream so they have a little uh, place called swirls and there's they have an attendant and you just walk up and say I'd like a of chocolate or vanilla or a twist or a, of chocolate or vanilla or a twist or a, of chocolate or vanilla or a twist and anytime as many times as you want. And what's nice about that is that somebody that's serving you, there are other cruise lines out there that you kind of do a self-serve ice cream mm -hmm. and it may sound like, well, why do I need to have somebody fill my own soft-serve ice cream cone? Well, when the line is way lined up at a self-serve type mm -hmm. station mm -hmm. and people are picking their nose or other crevices <laughs> of their body and you see them grab that self-serve thing and like pull it down you're thinking the last thing that I want to do is grab it after this person so having a staff member that actually mans the ice cream is really really nice it worked out perfect and then when she starts to get to know you she you don't even have to tell her what you want because she knows she knows you're the swirl lady yeah the swirl lady uh, another favorite thing of mine on the Regal Princess was I had a coffee punch card. He had the unlimited soda. I had a coffee punch card, so it was a specialty coffee, and I could take that card to the dining room. I could take it to the buffet. Pretty much, I could be on the deck, and I could get a latte or a mocha. How or many an espresso. punches did you get? I think out? I had like eleven or twelve. Um, twelve punches. Yep. So, so twelve different coffee drinks. It was like for fifty dollars. So they were about two, two to three dollars a piece. Um, you so could buy them a la carte, but absolutely. if you do the card. Absolutely. Um, it was, it's a better per unit better. price. I wish that there was a soda punch card. That's all I'm saying. It's a good idea. If if Royal Caribbean or Carnival's listening to this, do punch cards for everything because it's way more friendly for you people. You like that better. Okay, so yeah. moving on. Uh, movies Under the Stars. Uh, the Regal Princess had a huge jumbo screen on one of their pool decks. In the evenings, they showed movies. I think you watched Hunger Games, I think. And um, they put uh, cushions out on the uh, the deck pool chairs, and That's they have blankets really and nice. popcorn. It's a really popcorn. There was milk and cookies. They came around with it's a serving. fun experience. There was a Michael Jackson dancing fountains show where they did a bunch of Michael Maybe Jackson. Liked that. Well, that was cool because I'm just a Michael Jackson fan. Like so Jackson. another favorite thing of mine: the closets uh, in our stateroom. Um, I loved the closets because they were open floor to ceiling and you could either put your luggage in if you needed to. Uh, you, there was no sliding open of doors and closing doors and um, it was easy to see everything at one time. I felt like I was organized. I really liked that. Um, on other ships it's the sliding door and you have to open one at a time and it's just, I don't know, that's, I like the big open space. The Alfredo's Pizza Place, excellent pizza. It should have been a specialty restaurant because it was that good, but it was complimentary. And don't be afraid to ask, you know, the waiter or waitress as you're, I mean, there's these little eateries, there's the steakhouse, different pub and stuff, mm -hmm. and you're just not sure, is this complimentary included or is this specialty that i got to pay extra? Yeah. If it's not posted clearly for you to see, feel free to ask a staff yeah, member. Absolutely. Almost any of the service staff can answer that question for you. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and don't wait till halfway through your cruise to discover which of those um, offshoot restaurants mm-hmm. are actually complimentary. Mm-hmm. Even some of the specialty dining, I think, um, mm-hmm. at Sea Days gave you a complimentary lunch. Yep. So yep. investigate that. Ask your wait staff about what is included in this mm-hmm. uh, cruise because you could have a really great experience at some of those really high scale, you know, restaurants, upscale restaurants, but. Uh, and do it at the lunch hour and mm-hmm. experience it complimentary. So. so overall, we loved the Regal Princess, and you mentioned there was a bonus item or something. I don't know. Well, so here's the deal. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> we get on the boat, and we see this, like, Santa Claus-looking guy at the, you know, boarding the boat as well. And then there's another one, 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 and then there's another one. They just were all over. I don't know if there were 50 or 100 uh santa clauses if you will full beard white and they were there red clothing they were there literally for a santa claus convention training convention convention of how to run a personal santa claus business it was the wildest thing and at some of the theater shows and whatnot they would be taken up like the front three four rows of the whole theater bunch of santas in full red green white costume in the middle of march hilarious to see and anyway that was a fun thing so so you're just never quite you, sure you who you're gonna have see a santa claus on your cruise ship and if it's the real santa you tell them that heather really wants a pony <laughs> anyway um, no no you tell them heather really wants a closet organizer apparently so uh we need to figure that out anyway thanks santa. for watching those were our favorite things on the regal princess enjoy, enjoy.